It is good to be in Toronto. Yes! Uh, good stuff. Whoops, no, what? Wait, why? Yeah. Boy, um, boy, got into a hole there. Uh, yeah. No, we, uh, we were just in the Midwest of the United States. We saw one of the most glorious mullets of all time. Yes, and so, it was an unironic mullet. Because you see why. a mullet in Los Angeles, and you're like, fuck you. You're a dick. Why, why, why are you, you doing that? Take, you're The hipsters are taking that away from us, too. No, this was the most glorious. Because you see a mullet in its natural habitat. Like out in the world, not near a hockey rink, but somewhere near a oh, hockey man. rink. You see a mullet out in its natural habitat, it's like seeing a horse ride another horse. It's unbelievable. It's magical. It's anatomically incorrect, and yet why is Seabiscuit on top of Secretary? I it's don't just know. Unbelievable. I want to see what's going to happen next. Uh, it made us think that there should be a mullet hall of fame. You know, there America. isn't a mullet hall of fame. I think it should be inside of a Supercuts. Well, actually, I think it should be right behind a Supercuts. So literally, it's a business in the front and a party in the back. I if you know what I'm talking that. about. Thank you. Yeah, there are banquet rooms back there. Anyway, I feel like Dog the Bounty Hunter is the all-time inductee. That's a great mullet. He'll put everyone in there. If uh, you were in the NHL, automatically You in. get in anytime. KD Lang. Let's get the fee mullet Why up in not? that bitch. You know Come on, I mean? let's do that. February could be Black Mullet Month. Yes. Why not? Black, black people don't think, you don't think that you have mullets. I love that you said you. We're in Canada. There are no fucking black no people. No black people. We know that much. Right. No, but black, the black mullet, Jerry Curl to the cornrow, it's tight, and then it gets messy down Those here. Those are all mullets. Yes, they are. <laughs> That means that Allen Iverson has been rocking a mullet for two decades. Yeah. Not a weave. Not a weave. Not a weave. We talking about mullets. We talking about mullets We talking up about here. mullets Not up a here. weave. Not a weave. Not a weave. Not a weave. We up here talking about mullets. I mean, mullets. how funny is that? that it's we talking so funny about that we up here talking, we're talking about, about mullets, We talking about mullets, We talking about mullets, We talking about mullets. Not a weave. 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 We talking about mullets. We talking mullets. about mullets. I mean, it's so funny, man. We, we talking about talking mullets. about mullets. I feel like we could have done that for an hour. We almost uh, did. I almost did. <laughs> we almost did. Do you guys feel like Stephen Hawking's going crazy? Just a little bit crazy. And we can't tell because he talks through a computer. That's right. The computer voice on Hawking is like hotness on a woman. It masks the crazy for you know a little bit longer. Because we've all had that friend who's dated a hot woman, right? Yeah. Three weeks in, he's like, I had no idea she was fucking crazy. Why did I not see that? You were staring at her tits. Okay, so, uh, all right, I got it. Works. The voice is crazy. Uh, Stephen Hawking, by the way, he got, he's crazy. He got involved in a domestic dispute. That's right. Cops were called in by someone on Stephen Hawking. How weak of a person do you have to be to call in the cops to mitigate a dispute between you and Stephen Hawking? Can you imagine that cop walking into that situation? Cop walks in, he's like, so uh, that guy over there he, with his head to the side, that's yes, the guy you call me in on right now. He shouted at me. He shouted he at you. He was very angry with okay, me. Wait he, a he was shouting and yelling at me. How do you know he was shouting at you? He used all caps. Okay, so, all right, uh, I got you. <laughs> Take that off. You think about the only public meltdown we've seen recently, and that was Charlie Sheen, right? right? The second he started saying the crazy stuff, you're like, oh, he's batshit crazy. Oh, yeah. But with Hawking, if Hawking said the exact same things that Sheen said, you wouldn't think that he was crazy. You'd start questioning your own knowledge base. Right, that's that point. how powerful the computer voice. If the computer voice said, I have tiger's blood and Adonis DNA. There'd be a second where you were like, are we fucking descendant from tigers? Maybe what we don't are, I, know? I don't know. Did it go monkey, tiger, monkey? Maybe. Why do I, I not I remember? So the only way we're going to know if he's really gone off the rails, he's going to have to go so far past the point of normal crazy that he's going to have to do it in such a public way. Like, he's going to be at a G8 summit in Oslo, Norway. All the greatest minds in the world hanging on his every keynote speech and word. And he's just going to have to go nuts. He's going to be like, the universe is expanding like Oprah's delicious black ass. What, what? the fuck? Wait a minute. What? That's crazy. It's true, but It is crazy. true, but that's nuts. The only true way to connect a proton, neutron, and electron is to pee in a baby's face. What? <laughs> down, Hawking. Black Hawking down. Come no, on, come buddy, on do right it. now. <laughs> so uh, we have kids, though not together. That, that would, would be weird, weird if we had kids weird. together. Uh, I wonder if my kids know that what we do. Do they understand that this is what we do, stand-up comedy? I often wonder that, you know, because I tried to explain it to my daughter once, my seven-year-old. I was like, uh, we go into a strange building. 
We try to make a bunch of people laugh by saying a bunch of stupid shit. She's like, you work for Parliament? That's no, so weird. That's so uh, funny. She's smart. She's smart ahead okay. of her time. No, but the other night she couldn't fall asleep, and she asked me to come into her room and help her write some jokes to help her fall asleep. And I thought, oh, that's such a beautiful moment right there. It's so it's like a reverse cats in the cradle. Right. I love it. And then I actually got down to writing the jokes. I don't know if you've written a joke with a seven-year-old recently. A lot of restrictions. A lot on of those restrictions jokes. on that process. You can't be that dirty. You can't be that edgy. You can't be that funny. It's basically like writing for Leno. It if is. You, it's you like writing it for Jay Leno. Yeah. Too Thank soon. Uh, uh, and my daughter is a lot like Jay Leno. I she mean, is. She's got a lot of denim shirts. She does. Uh, she loves crazy cars. She craves attention. And my daughter, like Leno, has no business hosting The Tonight Show. There, so you, go. there you go. We That's, said uh, it. We put it out there. That's yes. it. Hey, guys. Right. Come on. Yeah. We'll get applause on but that. That's on her because she can't tell a monologue joke to yeah, save her life. Yeah, she's really not that great. Uh, Here's the problem, though. When Randy writes jokes with his daughter, I get mad because as comedians, we only have so much joke writing juice in the tank every day, and he's wasting it on these jokes that we cannot use in our act. So I'm like, let's use them in the act. We'll lift up the curtain on the wizard here. I will do a joke. I'll show you our process. I'll do a joke that I wrote with my daughter. And I guess I will try and doctor it up so it's appropriate for HBO Canada. Okay, okay. so here's a joke that I wrote with my daughter. Uh, why was the bagel standing outside of his house crying? Why was the bagel standing outside of his house crying? Because someone had changed all his locks. Good for Leno. Do you yeah, see what exactly. I'm saying? Do you yeah, understand yeah, how that works right there? Okay. Okay, why was the bagel standing outside of his house crying? Why was the bagel standing outside of his house crying? Because he is a Jew. How do you know the bagel's Jewish? He's a bagel. He's empty inside. Got a, a giant hole, hole in the right center. That's a good point. She's got to learn about her heritage sometime. That's right. Oh, right. Why not now? Uh, how about this one? Uh, what do you call a quilt that no one will sleep on? What do you call a quilt that no one will sleep on? A quont. <laughs> that shit kills at preschool. It does. I don't want to fucking hear it. it right. Right. Milk out the nose every time. Even yes. when those kids haven't had any milk. Yeah, that's right? right. They are nasally lactating at my comedy with, right. Right, with my daughter. All right, I gotta change a little bit. Change it up. Uh, what do you call a quilt that's been slept on 20,000 times? What? Quilt Chamberlain. Boom! <laughs> Sports joke. Okay, how about this one? Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? You did not write that with your daughter. I know, but I can dream that someday she'll grow up to be a female Carlos Mencia. Okay, so, she's uh, stealing that's jokes. That's good. That's okay. fantastic. Uh, should I change it up? All right, Do knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? Because mommy's leaving us. and we're probably gonna lose the house. <laughs> so it's cool if I sleep in your bed with you tonight? <laughs> and orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> Thank you guys so yeah, much. Good night, night everybody! Thank you! Thank you. Oh, keep it going for Bob Saget. Oh my God, right? I can't, I can't believe he has AIDS. So I need to always put that out there straight away. I am born and raised in London. My parents are Nigerian. Any Nigerians in the house? It's a long shot. I didn't think it would work. 